In this video, I'm going to show you how you can do a, a do-it-yourself uh, solar charger that you can, it's portable. You can use it to take with you if you have to bug out or evacuate for some type of uh, storm-related problem. Um, it is solar powered, it's very small, it's very inexpensive, and it would be easy for you to, to uh, build this yourself with basic hand tools. Uh, we're going to utilize a Sunlink, uh, this is a 12 watt solar module. Uh, again, this is an off the shelf product. I like them because they're obviously fold up and they have grommets on the corners so you could uh, lash it down to the hood of a car or onto a tree or, or, or some variation of, to support it. Um, folds up very small. So this will be our, our charger. These come with a large assortment of adapters which can be used to connect to different types of devices. In our case, we're going to be using this adapter and it plugs into the solar module which we'll be using shortly to connect. The next item that we're going to use is a 12 volt DC um, receptacle. This is similar to what you'd find in a car or a boat or RV. There's different styles. Um, as you see, we, uh, this type has a faceplate which makes it easy to mount. Um, we're going to use this one today which is um, this designed to fit into a round hole. We're going to need a battery and I'm using a motorcycle battery. Again, it's small, it's fairly um, lightweight. Uh, this particular battery is a, a, a 7 amp hour battery at 12 volts which should give us more than enough battery power uh, to charge up a number of USB type devices and is a nice match for a 12 watt solar module. Finally, we need some type of a portable case. Um, this is kind of an ammo case design, only a little bit smaller. Uh, I picked this up at a, uh, just a, a Walmart type of an outlet. So the first thing we would do is we would decide where we want to put our receptacle and just drill a hole or cut a hole in the plastic. It could be on top. We may want to put it on the side, um, but um, that's up, you know, personal preference. Once we, um, we have it mounted, of course, then we would make the connections to the battery. They're marked on the back, positive and negative. We're going to use an inline fuse, and that will um, protect whatever you plug in to make sure we don't, um, you know, have too much of a load on the, on the system. So here is our positive connection, positive terminal of the battery. We will connect here. The negative connection, of course, we would connect here, tighten them down. We then put the mount our battery in our case. We would have this somewhere inside, probably something like this to clear the battery. And finally, we have room in the case to put the solar module. So. There you have a complete backup power system and there's various devices you can get to make this even more functional. In this case we have a, a 12 volt adapter that will terminate with five USB ports. So this is automatically converting the 12 volt DC into the 5 volt USB uh, output that can be used to charge up a number of uh, cell phones or, or small USB type appliances. Again, it's portable. You can, it's fairly inexpensive. There's about, um, the solar module is around $100. The battery was about $40. Case was about $10. So this is a fairly inexpensive way to have a, um, a portable backup power system. Now, once you have done this, you obviously need some way to charge the battery up. Now, 
On other projects I've shown you how to use a, an AC type trickle charger which would just plug in the wall, connect to your battery and would keep the battery charged until you need it that way. But we can also use a solar module and this is a 55 watt solar module. Previous videos I have shown you how to install a solar charge controller into the back of the module. So everything is here now and all we need to do is make the connection to our, our battery. Um, we could also use one of the adapters and plug into the same outlet so we don't have to get inside this to make any of the connections. We can, we can terminate everything with our, our 12 volt um, connector. As I said, we have a seven amp hour battery and uh, a typical uh, cell phone, um, the, the, the requirements of, for charging with something like that is fairly small. So we could easily charge up um, three or four cell phones or one cell phone multiple days. Uh, we could also charge up, uh, say, an iPad or an iPod, um, any of the smaller USB devices. This is not large enough to, uh, to say, charge up a, uh, something like a desktop computer, uh, some of the larger appliances. But again, this is portable. It's, the idea is what are the small devices you may have uh, either to bug out or to go camping. Just some basic, uh, such as some LED lights um, or the USB type connectors for uh, cell phones and, and that type of equipment. A laptop, if with, this is a 55 watt module, which is more than enough to t uh, keep a laptop charged up. Uh, so if, the, um, if we're charging a laptop while it's sunny, uh, there should not be a problem to charge a laptop, but the so smaller 7 amp hour battery is a little bit small by itself to keep a laptop charged up, but together it would easily charge a laptop.